Welcome back to more of the Game of the Line with Sam and Let's Play of Pokemon Blue Kaizo. I'm going to attempt to level up Rhyhorn a little bit. To at least see if he gets any new moves. Or maybe evolve super duper early. And we're going to do it fighting weaker Pokemon. And of course, we're starting with a Diglett that is going to be impossible to hit. Okay, we got it. Never mind. All right. I think this is more Rhyhorn speed, fighting level 5s rather than level 12s. Hate to say that, but with a moveset consisting of double edge and nothing else, it's making it a little bit difficult to fight stuff. Okay, nice, we got level 13. What do you got? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. 655 experience points to level 14, you kidding me? That's so many experience points. That's like three times as many experience points as it took to level up Poliwag and Poliwhirl. That's ridiculous. To evolve, I should say. On the plus side, I guess Rhyhorn's faster than things. 66 experience points. Oh god, this is going to take a thousand years. Okay. That's fine. It's all good. I think this Mankey's going to be faster than us. No, it's not. Okay, that's a surprise. The one good thing about this move, about having this, you know, using double edges, yeah, it's it causes recoil damage, but it's almost a guaranteed one shot on pretty much anything out here, so it's not terrible. I just have to go back and heal constantly because I don't want to be using up any of my potions. Like, I'm not even going to get a level up before I have to go back and heal Rhyhorn here, and I'm going to move the microphone again slightly. I'm sorry. It just feels like it's constantly in the wrong place, even though it's perfectly... It's in a perfectly fine place, and I'm actually turning it around because it was very much not in a good spot. And, uh, okay, good. I, I didn't accidentally press the mute button, thankfully. Yeah. So I had my team between episodes because I forgot I had it, and I usually like to drink it after about... I mean, I don't... I, I'm not... I'm not one of those people that likes my hot drinks scalding hot and I do not understand how there are people out there that do that sort of thing so, I mean like I've, I remember reading a thread on um, I think it was Twitter and this was either like this could have either been two weeks ago or six months ago or two years ago I don't remember time has no meaning anymore but I remember reading like a thread of people who worked at various coffee shops and they were telling stories of customers that would order, they would order coffee or whatever as hot as they possibly could, like at the hottest possible temperature you could get it to be, you could get it to be prepared. And then like the, they would, they would prepare, the person would prepare it. And then like the person at the who was ordering the coffee would like immediately they would like immediately drink this coffee and then complain about it being about not being hot enough despite the fact that it was like you know boiling a lava hot and like I don't understand how people like that exist let alone live through something like that and just like I feel like if you drink scalding hot coffee that you must just not have... Either you have a much stronger than usual stomach lining, or you just have... You've just burned it all off at this point. I just, I do not understand how those sorts of people exist. It scares me a little bit, actually. Because I, 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 I don't mind drinks when they're, like, warm. But if a drink is too hot, I'm not drinking it. I'll wait 20 minutes for it to cool down a bit. But, like, I can't, I can't deal with, like, scalding hot temperature drinks, coffee, tea, whatever it might be. Although I'm not drinking coffee, any, at, like, at all anymore. But still, like, I just, it baffles me that there are people that are like, this coffee's too cold. It's like, it's 200 degrees. What are you talking about? What is wrong with you? I, I, I don't know. It just freaks me out. Oh, well, maybe those are the people who are just dead inside. In which case, I kind of understand. I uh, I can uh, relate to that, I guess. 
Not completely, obviously. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. This is the third episode of this recording session, and I am so freaking sleep deprived that I just... I could pass out at any moment. Yay, Rhyhorn leveled up. Learn a move? Nope, still just double edge. All right, that's totally fine. I'm gonna keep fighting things and level it up and hope it's gonna not be terrible in a level or two. Maybe I'll learn another move that's not gonna cause recoil damage. Maybe it's gonna learn submission. It's only gonna learn recoil damage moves and then we're all gonna be. It's just gonna be great. It's gonna be nothing but recoil moves on Rhyhorn, which is cool because it has a lot of HP, but that doesn't necessarily mean that only using recoil moves is gonna be a good thing unless it had that ability that prevents recoil damage, but that's not Generation 3, and I think Rhyhorn has that, but I could be completely wrong. I could be thinking of a different Pokemon that, that has that ability that negates that negates recoil damage from moves that cause recoil damage. I have completely lost any semblance. Why are you beep-pooping now? You didn't beep- oh, maybe it's because when I knocked it out, it doesn't get the beep-boop noise? Maybe that's what's happening? I guess? I don't know. I've never actually bothered to use Double Edge, like, ever, for any reason in the history of time. <laughs> like, I've never used this move when I played this game. When I played this game, I was like, no, I don't want to use moves that cause recoil damage. What, are you crazy? Unless I have a thing that negates recoil damage. And that's totally fine. You know, if it's, I don't I don't know what, you, I forget what it's called. Is it called Rockhead? Is that what that move is called? Or the ability is called? I think that's what it's called, but I don't remember. Because it's also it's Generation 1. Pokemon don't have abilities. So it's not like I'm going to be able to negate recoil damage anyway. I also don't remember which other moves even cause recoil damage in Generation 1. I know it's Submission, I know it's Double Edge. I'm sure there are other ones that I'm not thinking of. But still, I don't really want to just have a Pokemon that only knows recoil damage moves. I'd prefer not to. If it does, then I'll just abandon it in the Pokebox like I do with a bunch of other things like those Nidorans, which I thought would be a cool pair to use, but it's just probably not a good idea. How much more is it going to take a Rare Horn to level up to 15? 568. We're not even going to be able to level this thing up before I have to go heal it again. I'm pretty sure unless we only fight Pokemon that give me like 60 plus experience points like this, this, this Growlithe here. I almost called it a Rhyhorn. Wow. I don't know what's happening anymore. I've lost my freaking mind. <laughs> okay. 65 experience points is pretty good. If I could just keep getting 65 experience points from every Pokemon. Hey, more Growlithe. Thank you. Just only get let me fight Growlithe. That would be... Pretty nice. I would really appreciate that if you just give me Growlithe to fight game. Because then I might stand a snowball's chance in hell of leveling up before I have to go heal again. That is not a... That is not a Growlithe. I will still fight it for the experience points. And I was going to say for the IVs, but then I remembered, no, that doesn't... Those don't exist in Generation 1. I didn't know this until relatively recently about how... Uh, how about how, like, IVs or DVs or whatever they are work in Generation 1? Apparently how it works is that instead of having, uh, instead of each Pokemon giving you, like, um, one to three IV points in a certain stat, they give you their base stats in each, like, in each of their DVs. I know that doesn't make any sense, but, like, like for Diglett, Diglett has, I think, 10 H and a 10 HP stat of 10. Did I, oh, I thought I missed. Okay. So Diglett has like an HP, say Diglett has like an HP stat of 10, a speed of like 50 or whatever. It probably has higher speed than that, but just for the sake of argument. So, or just any Pokemon. If it has like a speed stat of 50, then when you defeat one, you gain 50 points in the the value for that for that. A stat and you I forget what you max out at it's like 25,000 or something it's something ridiculous like that so it doesn't work the same because there's no limit to how many points you can get into each DV so you can get like 25,000 points into each DV whereas in previous uh, or not previous in future games it limits you in the number of points you can get into these stats. So for like competitive play, you have to think, you have to think a lot harder about 
how you want to level up your your Pokemon. You want to think, okay, do I want to like try to max out its attack stat, or do I want to try to max out its HP, or do I want to try to max out its defense, or do I want to sort of split these things? When Generation One, you're just like, just max out all the stats. Who cares? Uh, it was kind of it was simpler times. I like that. I appreciate the the simpler times that this game provides. Just not having to think about, oh, I have to have to only fight these six Pokemon because they they raise my attack stat and I can't fight these other things because they raise my special attack stat and I'm not using special attack because I'm using a Rhyhorn, that sort of thing. You know, like, I don't really, I'm glad I don't have to think about that kind of thing. Not that it matters. It's not like I'm trying to play competitive for this, but at the same time, I think with the Kaizo thing, you kind of have to a little bit just because, again, this is a hard game. I'm spending like three episodes just level grinding a Rhyhorn and two Poliwags. I should tell you how ridiculous this game more than likely is going to be. Okay. I think this should get Rhyhorn up to level 15. Maybe it'll learn an attack. I can hope, right? This level 15 seems to be... Nope. Okay, nothing at all. Does it only know double edge? Is it only ever going to know double edge? It's not going to be one of those Pokemon that doesn't learn to move for like 20 levels, is it? Please don't let it be one of those. I'd be very sad if that's the case. <laughs> I also need to level up Charmander a little bit. I should probably just evolve it. Because why would I not at this point? I think it'd be silly not to just go ahead and evolve everything, right? Except for Rhyhorn, because... I don't know when it's going to evolve. It might evolve at level 25, or it might evolve at level 30. I have no idea. I'll get it to level 16. I was going to say the same thing about Poliwhirl, but... I mean, we can just go fight other stuff. We can go fight level 12s with Poliwhirl now. Because it's evolved. And it has submission. So, we'll just do that. For a little bit, I guess. Not too long, mind you. But just long enough so I... Long enough that I can... I can tolerate, I guess. Which is not very. <laughs> I've been doing this for three episodes, and I, I am really quite tired of it. But it has to kind of be done a little bit. Okay. I at least... I at, very, at the very least, I want to see if I can get another move on Rhyhorn. I'm not going to expect it. Because it seems like that's not a thing that's going to happen ever. But still... If I can get up to level 16 right now, I'd be pretty happy. Not right now, but you know what I mean. Okay. Okay. I have to forgive me. My nose is all stuffy because when I don't, when I like continually talk for a while, my nose just completely gets clogged up and I don't know what causes that. I don't know if that happens to other people, but it's, it's happening to me and it's annoying the crap out of me. Uh, can we hit this thing? We, okay, we're not gonna... Oh, good. We might actually get knocked out here. Never mind. Okay, we're not, we're just... Okay, fine. We're just leaving. We're leaving. I'm done with this. Okay, how much more XP do I need to level up my horn one more time? Please tell me it's not that much. 550! That's so much XP. That's like 10 or 12 more battles. That's so many battles. I could probably try to go fight the other Pokemon in the, in the other area. But if I run into any Poliwag, Rhyhorn is immediately going to be knocked out. I don't really want to do that. Uh, do I just risk it? I'm just going to go risk it for... I'm going to go risk it. Also, this would be a good good time to test drive the Poliwhirl. See how it does against these other pokes. Hopefully the answer is decent. Okay. Save. Like, I'll win, I'll win most of the battles of attrition with most of these Pokemon out here. It's just Poliwag that I'm worried about. I think Jigglypuff might be faster. Nope. They take a lot of damage, though, from that recoil. For only, I mean, twice as much experience points is pretty good. Ekans I'm concerned about, because it, it more than likely will paralyze me or use wrap. 
There's the Paralyze. Okay, I still got the attack off, which is good. And I one-shot it, which is also great. 106 experience points is not worth it. Okay, let's try leveling up Poliwhirl. A little. Let's at least try fighting some stuff with Poliwhirl. See how I go with that. Okay, this is a good, uh, good time to try out submission. I thought I was going to miss. All right. That's a lot of recoil damage again. That's okay, though. That's a decent amount of XP. I'd rather fight, like, Ponytaws and things. Not Ekans. Please stop showing me Ekanses. I'm so tired of you showing me your snake game. Don't do that. I don't want it. I want nothing to do with your snakes. Unless it's a giant water snake. Then I might be interested. Uh, I never noticed that those two Pokemon have nearly the exact same cry. Weird. Yikes. That crit, though. Oof. Pidgey is not worth fighting. Can I see a Ponyta? I guess not. I mean, it's not really that similar. Let's be real here. That's not really very similar. Cry. Can I see a rock type? Geodude? Rhyhorn? Can I see a Ponyta? Ponyta should give me a crap load of XP. If I remember correctly. I don't think Psyduck will. Also with Poliwhirl, not a whole lot of HP. Okay, I get it, game. If I catch an Ekans, will you stop showing them to me? I really would appreciate it if you'd stop showing me these damn snakes. Alright, fine. I'll lock out this Jigglypuff, and then we'll go back and heal. I was really hoping that Rhyhorn might be able to do more. Unfortunately, he can't, because he just has double edge. Uh, Alright. How much more do you need to level up at this point? 314. Okay, that's not too bad. I can I'll I'll be will I'm willing to go back to this other route, level him up one more time. And then it's probably time to go to try and actually move in a forwardly direction with this game. Because we've been on this route for three episodes now, and I would like to move on. I also like to level up Poliwhirl a little bit more. Oh, nice. 49. That's not too bad. Okay, let's get Rhyhorn leveled up one more time. And then we'll level up Poliwhirl a little bit, and then we'll go. Because I'm tired of level grinding. <laughs> we have more trainers we can fight. They'll give us way more experience points with their Pokemans. Okay. I forget how many more... I've already forgotten how much experience points... How many more experience points it was going to take Rhyhorn to level up. I think it was like 300. I don't remember. I totally forgot what it was. What is it? It was about 300. Okay. So it's still going to be about another seven or eight battles, or probably, I don't know, somewhere between like five and seven, or maybe eight battles. That's okay, though. It probably isn't going to be worth the investment that I put into this. But we gotta see. We gotta at least try. I mean, if it evolves at, like, level 20 or something, then I'll be very happy. I don't expect that to be the case. Ugh, Diglett. It's fine. We got it. We got it. It's all good. This might not be. I just want to level up Rhyhorn. I don't want any trouble. Okay. I'm so tired. I might just go to bed after this episode. Uh. So in that case, I want to try and level up Rhyhorn and Poliwhirl before I end the episode. 
so I can go to sleep knowing that I did something. Even if all that was was level up two Pokemon for an hour. <laughs> uh, this is the life I choose to lead. How are you still not leveled up? Okay. That's why, because it was one more battle. Okay. All right. Good. We got Reinhardt up to level 16. Maybe he learns a move? Please? Any move? Nope. All right. I'm regretting this time investment that I've put into Rhyhorn right now, because it's feeling like this is going to be a slog, to say the least. Poliwhirl, I'm pretty happy with the time investment, just because it evolved so early and I might be able to get a jinx out of it. So, cool. You got another move? Ooh, what are you learning? Seismic Toss. That's an interesting thought, just because it does set damage. But I don't know what to get rid of. That would be the problem. Because I don't want to get rid of Bubble Beam, because I need that. I don't want to get rid of Hypnosis, because Sleep is ridiculously overpowered in Gen 1. I don't want to get rid of Body Slam, because of the Paralysis chance. I don't want to get rid of Submission, because it becomes a, becomes a same type attack bonus move when I evolve it into Polyrath. Uh... I guess we're gonna we're gonna forget about seismic toss. That's an interesting move though to have. Oh well. Okay, well we got we got the Polyworld leveled up to fifteen. We got uh whatchamacallit, Rhyhorn leveled up to sixteen. And Rhyhorn still hasn't learned a goddamn thing, but that's fine. No big deal. Hopefully it'll learn something in the next couple levels that is not a recoil damage move. But anyway. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Pokemon Blue Kaizo. Please do click the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more of this stuff. Whatever it is. I'm going to go to sleep. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will talk to you all next time.